Hi, I'm Angela Nicholson, Head of Testing for Futures Photography Portfolio, and this is the Ricoh GR, the latest addition to the APS-C format compact camera market. As you can see, despite the fact that it has the same size sensor as many SLRs, the GR is actually pretty small and neat. It's about the same size as the similarly specified Nikon Coolpix A. Like the Coolpix A, the GR has a fixed focal length lens that's equivalent to around 28mm in 35mm terms. It also has a maximum aperture of f2.8, so there's a fair bit of control over depth of field. One of the concerns I had about this camera when we saw a pre-production sample was that it seemed to have a fairly lengthy file write time. However, I'm pleased to say that it really isn't the case with this production sample, and even when shooting RAW and JPEG files simultaneously, you can snap away quite happily without having to wait for the buffer to clear. This is great news, because the GR produces superb quality RAW files. The JPEG files are also pretty decent, but as Pentax Ricoh has opted to use the DNG RAW file format, the, in the images can be processed using Adobe Camera Raw, which makes shooting RAW files even more attractive. One of the reasons that the GR produces such detail-rich images is that the 16.2 million pixel sensor doesn't have an anti-aliasing filter over it. Theoretically, this means that it carries an increased risk of producing images that suffer from moiré patterning, but I haven't found it to be an issue. As you can see, there's no viewfinder built into the GR, so unless you buy the optional optical finder, you have to compose images on the 3-inch 1.2 million dot LCD screen. This provides a nice clear view in most situations, only struggling in very bright light. As the screen isn't touch sensitive, the focus point must be set by pressing this button, using the navigation keys to get to the right spot, and then clicking OK. I found the AF system to be very good, getting the subject sharp quickly in many situations and only struggling in very low light or in low contrast situations. However, the larger sensor means that the macro facility needs activating more often than we expect with a compact camera and you need to remember to turn it off again when you switch to shooting a more distant subject. As it's built from magnesium alloy, the GR feels pretty solid, but it's also lightweight and this grip with its rubberized surface makes it feel secure in your hand. All the controls are within easy reach and the menu is a no-fuss affair that doesn't take too long to get used to. The mode dial on the top also allows quick changes in exposure mode, with the enthusiast's favourite shutter priority and aperture priority being available along with manual. There are also three custom options that can be used to access your favourite setup. I use these to enable me to switch quickly to shooting in black and white mode. This rocker switch is used to set exposure compensation in record mode, and although I was worried I might accidentally adjust the exposure with it on a regular basis, it doesn't seem to happen that often. This control gives a convenient quick route to the sensitivity, image quality, aspect ratio, focusing and metering options. Just press to bring up the main list and then move left or right. The front dial is used to switch between the available options. I'm very impressed by the Ricoh GR. It costs considerably less than the Nikon Coolpix A and the Fuji X100S, and it provides high quality, well exposed images with lots of sharp detail and natural vibrant colours. For more information about the Ricoh Pentex GR, read my review on techradar.com.